What's up y'all, Rip the Realtor here. You know a lot of people are starting to realize that the best hedge against inflation, that's right, is real estate. Specifically real estate investments. So maybe your plan is to purchase a property listed on VRBO or Verbo or Airbnb and watch that cash stack. It seems short term rentals or vacation rentals will be easy peasy. And while yes, short term rentals do earn over 30% more than long term rentals, there's still a lot that you need to know. So to help you out, I want to give you my three myths about short term rentals. So myth number one, all properties can become short term rentals. Eh, wrong answer. The ability to rent a property short term is based on zoning and municipal building codes. So you have to first understand local regulations before purchasing a home for short term rentals. Myth number two, preparing properties for renting short term is simple. Not so fast, Sonic. Short term rentals, even turnkey properties, need to include all the necessities from purchasing durable furniture uh, to kitchen supplies and toiletries. Getting these properties ready for renters can be time consuming and can get expensive. So myth number three, common sense and knowledge is enough to operate short term rentals safely. Think again, Gilligan. You have to think through safety measures that need to be taken into consideration when renting short term. This includes changing door lock codes after each guest, making sure smoke and fire detectors are in place, maybe having some outdoor cameras up, can't have inside cameras, and there's so much more to think through. Now, short term rentals can be a cash cow. Not really sure what that saying actually means, but you need to think it through before making the plunge into short-term rentals. So, if you need a short stack realtor for your short-term rental questions, give me a call. Love y'all.